Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the questions about the steel structures and the question will be uh, the check-in safety of a uh, beam now you can see on the screen. So now let's solve the question. But before we solve the question, if you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. Anything you wish, you can specify on the commands. I am going to try to do my best. So now let's solve the question. The first I have to check for the compaction of the flange and for sorry uh, for flange okay so now let's check from the table and which uh, formula that we are going to use look at here the table is this one for this plan it says width and thickness ratios compression elements members subject to the flexure okay so now uh, here we are going to use flange of rolled eye shaped sections channel and the t's because our section is suitable for this uh, uh, definition so now we are going to use this formula and for webs also we are going to use this one okay so now let's apply it and this is going to be case 10 and this is going to be a b over t and equal to 190 over 2 over 14.6 okay so now look at here. This is B, right? This is the whole length as B. Look at here. This is our beam, I guess. Sorry. And this is going to be B, but in the table, it shows that you have to use the half of the flange. Look at here. The B is here is half of the flange. Okay. So now I, I divide it to the 190. And this is going to be 6.5 and smaller than 0.38 multiplied square root of modulus of elasticity over the design strength of steel and this is going to be 0.38 over sorry multiplied 200,000 megapascal over 235 okay look at here fy is 235 and this is going to be 11.1 so now 6.5 is smaller than 11.1 so this is compact right so let's do it for a uh, web part and we are going to use case 15 and this is going to be h over 2 sorry uh, thickness of web and h is going to be uh, what 450 minus 2 multiplied, 2 multiplied thickness of flange, 2 multiplied thickness of flange, and minus 2 multiplied R value, okay? So, 2 multiplied R is 21, and this is going to be over thickness of flange 9.4, and this is 40.3, and this is going to be smaller than 3.76, multiplied e sorry uh, modulus of elasticity over fy i'm going to do this one to here okay so 376 multiplied 200,000 over 235 and this is equal to 110 and this 40 40.3 smaller than 110 and so the, the web part also compact okay so now we determine them let's calculate the uh, design load look at here we have a 4 kilo newton a 4 kilo newton as dead load and the 10 kilo newton as live load here so now i'm going to calculate the design load pd is equal to 1.2 multiplied dead load plus 1.6 multiplied live load and this is going to be 1.2 multiplied 4 plus 1.6 multiplied 10 and this is going to be equal to uh, 20.8 kilonewton meter as the design load okay so now we got the load let's calculate the moment for the moment it's going to be md is equal to P multiplied L square over 8 and this is 20.8 multiplied uh, 
the length, let's check what is the length. Look at here, the length is here. Okay, 10 meter. So multiply 10 square over eight is equal to 260 kilonewton. Sorry, this is a moment. Yes, this is going to be a, mul a multiplication. So now we got it. Let's uh, check the uh, uh, specification of steel. Okay. So now we are just going to use the yielding formula. Why? Because look at here in the question. In the question, I wrote I wrote the question as uh, bold. Okay. This part is says that the beam is laterally restrained. So that means that you shouldn't uh, consider the a flexural buckling okay so now you're just going to uh, got this part the yielding behavior okay this is going to be the yielding the yielding formula you're just we are going to use calculate that one if it wasn't uh, laterally restrained we have to check for the lateral torsional buckling but for now we shouldn't do it okay so now let's just calculate the yielding behavior and this is going to be uh, mn is equal to moment p elastic plastic section modulus and multiplied fy and this is going to be 1.7 multiplied 10 power 6 multiplied 235 multiplied 10 power, 10 power minus 6 and this is going to be 400 kilonewton meter as the moment Okay, so now let's uh, check for the design load. The sorry, the moment that's created by the design load here. This is the moment is created by the design load. Okay, so now we are going to uh, make a check that is greater than or smaller than. So I have to use the coefficient. If you remember, due to LFRD, 0 0.9 multiplied 400, and this is 360 kilonewton meter as the moment. And this is greater than the moment will be created by the loads. So 260 kilonewton meter, this one. So now you can see due to this um, comparison, we are going to write that the section, the beam is, sorry, yeah, the beam is safe, right? The beam is safe. So now I guess you understand how we are going to solve uh, this question. Uh, if anything you couldn't understand, please specify in the comments. I'm going to try to help you. Now the question is solved. See you for the next question.